So I have recently been scammed. I was on my local used marketplace website when I stumbled upon an item that simply read PC Gaming Lenovo. Long story short, it was an all-in-one PC from Lenovo, 8GB of RAM, 1080p, 90Hz touchscreen, but most importantly, a Ryzen 7 4700U. Given the low price of 200 euros, this was a steal, but there were some things that smelled really badly. For example, the vendor conveniently didn't include any pictures of the model or the stickers on the back, and also listed the integrated GPU as an Athlon Silver. So, giving the benefit of the doubt, I innocently messaged him. The messages were in Italian, so I translated them for you. Hey, is the processor a Ryzen 7 4700U or an Athlon Silver? Athlon Silver? Wait, if it's an Athlon Silver, why did you put a Ryzen 7 4700U in the description? And before you comment, yeah, this was a stupid question. I just had to ask for the model to see if he was bullshitting me, but it is what it is. One second, I'll check. Thanks. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. He's a Ryzen 7 4700U. And from there, I sent him the 200 euros and started the procedure to get this thing delivered to me. After a few days of radio silence, this forehead comes out and says, Hello, for reasons unknown to me, the website doesn't allow me to proceed with the shipping, so I'm obliged to send it as a private individual, and the cost is 14 euros. I give him again that benefit of the doubt and offer to pay the shipping through PayPal, as long as this PC gets to me in one piece. He has the goal of saying, Is post pay all right? When I ask if he takes PayPal. Post pay is a type of debit card here in Italy that needs to be recharged in physical stores and has a commission of 2 euros. I paid the stupid 16 euros, hoping the dude won't pull any other BS on me and walk home slightly mad. A week passes, the PC gets home and I am wrapped like a kid during Christmas morning. Lo and behold, the PC has a f***ing out on silver 3050U. Not only that, to add insult to injury, the screen wasn't touchscreen nor was it 90 Hz. So I go back in the chat, hanging still by a thread from the benefit of the doubt and I say, you messed up the description, you even confirmed to me wrong information. The processor is not a Ryzen 7 4700U, it's an Athlon Silver 3050U. And then I sent in a screenshot from Task Manager confirming the same thing. In the package it was written Athlon Silver, but before I formatted the PC I went to see in advanced settings and it was written Ryzen 7 4700U. I then sent him some other screenshots from the system information as well from the device manager with an attached short message while losing all hope. You must have misread. Now I don't precisely remember where I saw this, but when I bought it, even the shop told me it had AMD. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding, but I can assure you that before resending the PC, it was written that it had AMD Ryzen as a processor. Um, could you state that the package has arrived? As you can see, apart from this misunderstanding, the PC is good as new and has arrived. Apart from this misunderstand- Apart from this misunderstanding, you'd- Holy shit, imagine this. You want to buy a new car, so you go to the dealer, you choose an amazing Volkswagen Golf 8R, but when it comes time to the delivery, you find yourself in front of a Volkswagen up. Is it still new? Yes. Is it still a Volkswagen? Yes. Will you be pissed to high hell and also confused as shit? Yes. Will you remand a complete refund? Also yes. If you're not aware, let's go over the specific of this piece of rubbish versus the Ryzen. First of all, the Atlon 3050U is Zen, while the Ryzen 7 4700U is Zen 2 and also has about 1 GHz more in turbo, but the most important thing is that the Atlon is a dual core without multi-threading. This thing was hovering around 30% usage with a fresh install of Windows 11 and Task Manager open and nothing else. Using Windows on a dual core and an old one at that, not multi-threaded CPU is borderline torture, even with an SSD. You have enough time to take a sip of your coffee before something actually happens after clicking on it. And also, about clicking stuff, how about you click that subscribe button? It will really help me a lot. I is this how YouTuber stuff works? Am I, am I doing right? Let's use Cinebench as an example to give us an idea of the raw power of both. Not only the Ryzen 7 un annihilated, un Unhighlighted. Unhighlighted. Annihilated. The Athlon in the multi-core results, showing a score more than 4.5 times higher, but also got 60% more in the single core test. After I confronted him with evidence, he even insisted that he was right. I know hardware, I've been in the hobby for years, a computer doesn't work this way, it doesn't randomly give out errors like this. If everywhere I look says Athlon, then it must be Athlon, right? I'm also an IT guy, and I can assure that the PC before being formatted had the correct information now, I don't know why it says Atlum, before it didn't say that, but in any case, the PC is already excellent with this price, and you can even change the CPU without problems if that bothers you. 
Dude, if you are a fucking IT guy too, how do you not know that the 47U is a laptop chip? It's soldered on the board, I can't change it, it's stuck in place. Now that it was clear as water that this dude was full of crap, not even that he was a moron, this dude was actively trying to scam me, shame on you. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! At this point, I completely stopped engaging, maybe after some um, emotionally charged messages, oops, and I was updating him only on the wait times. Now it's time for some benchmarks. These are the full specs of this PC. I used a crappy capture card as always for the recording which I made with my test bench to make the IO perform at the best of its abilities. If any, that is. All games were played at the lowest possible settings apart from the resolution. I also went into the BIOS and set the maximum VRAM allocation possible which was only 1GB. <sighs> Yikes! I started with Fortnite, since in performance mode this game should be pretty easy to run. After loading in a lobby with absolutely none of the model or texture loaded, I noticed that my afterburner wasn't open, so I alt tabbed out of the game to activate it, only to have Fortnite completely implode and crash on me the moment I tried to re-enter it, so I guess less to learn don't alt tab out of something when I'm already torturing the system. I opened it again, trying to play at 1080p, but even ignoring the stutters, I was hovering around 20 fps, so I dropped the resolution to 720p native, the situation was significantly better, around 30-40 fps on average, but there were still those nasty stutters that made it completely unplayable. In an act of desperation, I dropped the 3D res to 50%, effectively making the resolution a crisp 640 by 360 mm, look at all those pixels. Love them. It gave me a bit of a frame rate boost, averaging 40 to 45 fps. Granted, I was still stuttering all over the place, but I think I figured out why. I was probably running out of RAM. I'm not too sure about this, because I was randomly lagging also when my RAM was at 6.7 GB, a whopping 200 MB of memory free, woohoo! But it makes sense considering the next game I tried. Valorant. This game usually runs beautifully and it was running pretty well at 1080p averaging 60 fps but alas I was stuttering like crazy still. More than before, I dropped the resolution to 720p, same thing. I even tried to go to lowest possible, a stretch 4x3, 1024 by 768 and it was doing 70 to 80 fps which is a lot for this PC but you can see too from the frame rate graph all the spikes. That's why it felt so bad to play. And again, look at the RAM, it was pinned around 6.7 to 6.8 gigabytes. I then moved to Rocket League, starting at 480p because at this point I wasn't expecting much and it was doing well over 60 most cases. It was running pretty smooth compared to the previous three games. I still had some lag spikes but nothing hideous like before. And yeah, I think this is because I'm not limited by my RAM anymore. I have 1GB of free RAM, compared to almost nothing I had in Fortnite and Valorant. I even raised the resolution to 720p and it was doing well over 60fps and I even scored, which given how bad I am at Rocket League, it was for sure a good omen for the next game. For my last game, I chose Battle Beat Remastered. I really love this game. It's light as a feather to run and it's exactly what I'm looking for in FPS. Look it up if you want a Battlefield experience without microtransaction. I started at 720p because I had good ops and hopped in a 254 people match and well, it was the most steady game by a long shot, even after I removed the FPS limit that I accidentally forgot on. Oops, I still had some occasional stutters, but shorter and less severe than other games. And with the RAM, same thing, well over a gigabyte free in most cases. I wish I could have opened it up and upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes just to confirm my theory, but the scammer was on the verge of threatening me and to sure I had my money back, I didn't dare to touch anything internally. <laughs> So yes, in the end I opened up a dispute with a website and I gave them all the evidence I had. They were actually pretty helpful, they authorized me to send the item back and I got my 200 euros back in my pockets after over 2 weeks. Please be careful when shopping, if something seems too good to be true then it probably is. Sometimes you find insane deals but it's important to ask for proof, don't rush it like I did. That's all I have for you for today, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment if you want and I'll see you again in the next one.